games to you. Welcome, we're going to show you how to use Master Audio Multiplayer. First, I'm going to show you that we have no audio in the game whatsoever. We're going to first concentrate on making the sound when you get hurt by the wolf. First, in order to use this plugin, we're going to need to add the Master Audio Multiplayer Adapter script to the Master Audio Game Object. It will pull in the Photon view, and then we will check both of these diagnostic checkboxes. Now let's go into Unity. This is our character, Mr. Tesla. There's a couple different ways we could add the sound in that we want. Let's go into Mechanim itself, which is in the sub-sub game object, and open up the animator. Find the clip that we have for Get Hit. There it is. Now let's add to this Mechanim state the script that comes with Master Audio to play sound effects. Notice that there's now a multiplayer broadcast checkbox that sends it to all players if you need it if it doesn't work ordinarily I've found that it does work so far now let's pretend that we don't have a specific clip for this so let's see the other way to do it let's remove this component for the second way let's go back to Tesla and look at his root game object and add an event sounds component let's do the component event of trigger enter and if we hit this certain layer, which is the enemy attacking, called enemy weapons, we want to play that sound, the same sound. So let's select it from the drop-down. Player hurt. There are also some controls here to limit how often this sound can be fired from this event. Let's make it so it's once per frame max. That should be plenty. Choose your own values here. Notice the multiplayer broadcast checkbox or you can do the one which affects all events in this script up top. Let's apply that and compile. You will hear what sounds like a slapback of getting hit because it's happening on both clients and there's latency between them. If there was too much latency here where you completely skipped over the collider, then you wouldn't hear the slapback and you'd need the multiplayer broadcast checkbox. Now let's see how to do this with some code in case you didn't have an event you could reliably do or you needed to depend on some other logic. Here, this script is using the sound group attribute which lets you select a sound group from a drop down. Here is the sound group attribute you decorate your variable with if you want that drop down. It's in the darktonic.masteraudio namespace. Here we're going to uncomment the code that I've already written to play the sound group. This is not the multiplayer version. I'm going to show you this first. The other players will not hear it. Then also Tesla's weapon has a charge sound and a fire ray sound. We're gonna play those as well, single player version. The fire ray sound is done through a custom event. It fires the custom event and the event sounds listens for the custom event to do two audio items. One's a fade and one's a play a sound. Here is the other attribute which you can use to select from a drop down of custom events in the UI in your inspector. Shown here. We only have one custom event. Now let's compile. You will notice here that there is no slapback for the get hit effect or the fire ray effect. That's because the code is only running on one client. This is where Master Audio Multiplayer code will come into play and save the day, of course. Now let's go into the code and make all these multiplayer enabled. Basically just change the Master Audio class to Master Audio Multiplayer Adapter and you're good to go. This is true of most methods in this class. You will always need to pass in a transform though so it can look for the nearest photon view, figure out if you're the owner, fall back to single player methods if you're offline and things like that. Besides that it works auto magically. All the work has been done for you with thousands of lines of code and 95 different remote procedure calls depending on your needs. Now let's compile and hear the slapback on all the effects signaling that multiplayer audio is working. The only thing you need to be aware of, the only requirement, is that the script or code that calls Master Audio Multiplayer Adapter must have a photon view in the same game object or any parent game object of that. Then it will be found and automatically work. If the photon view is not found there, or in the parent, or in the parent's parent, etc., logging will tell you why that the code was not sent across the wire.